Okay. This video is going to be about the motor mount and how that's going to be accomplished. Um, just putting this out there. Maybe I can get a little help with it. Uh, I want you to note that this starter will not be there when it comes time to mount. I just need to get the motor mount done so then everything else can be built around it. The intake and I don't know the distance it's going to be from the firewall. This aircraft originally calls for the half VW plans, but um, in terms of aircraft, it's a really cheap engine, but for me, it's not affordable. I, I can't afford it, and I don't know how to machine. I, I don't know anybody with those machining, but anyway, let's get to the problem. And I just put this here just to see what it looks like. If it, if it give me even meet up so this is the motor mounts that are on the drawings and then it has I do believe you utilize this top hole here it's on the other side looks like somebody was doing that already utilize the top hole and then maybe a strap goes from here to up here or here or here or here or maybe even a, a strap a triangle strap that goes from here back to both of them that's easy one to determine but down here it's a little bit more difficult and uh, I'll talk to you about that so I know that the motor has to be like there has to be like some kind of sort of thrust line there's the center of this bulkhead matches up to the center of this shaft. Um, so I don't know if that's where it's supposed to be. Is the center line supposed to go all the way through like that? You know? And then here's the bottom of the motor where the mounts are. And then here's these guys. I'll move this for you so you can see it. And yeah, I know I don't have to use these original. Uh, per the plans uh, The plans say the motor is eight and a half inches. I do believe from the firewall. Don't quote me the plans are inside but It's a I'd like to keep it the same distance away from the firewall because I think that'll affect the center of gravity And I'm trying to keep that I, I do believe the position of the motor forward or backwards really matters So I'm gonna try to keep that uh, like it says in the plans to be about eight and a half inches or whatever it calls for but um, the main question here is from my research tells me that the rotation of the motor will yaw I do believe yaw the plane one direction or another and I would need to apply constant rudder in one direction or another to keep the aircraft stabilized. So to combat that they turn the motor a little bit this way or a little bit that way, I'm not sure. I mean this is just from my research. and. So the bigger the motor, the more the turn. So I really just need to know where that center line is. Like, do I keep the center of the propeller in line in the center of the fuselage? Or does it have to go up a little bit? And also, do I have to angle the motor any certain which way? Okay, I'm not reproducing these plans. I'm just showing them for help. But it says, weld as per drawing, you may need a washer or two to align properly. Bolt engine on using 3 8 bolts and nuts. Use level and measure from prop tip back to leading edge of wing to align. Um, if you guys could help me out with that, that, maybe that'll answer my questions. Do I need to get a prop before I install the motor? Thanks for all your help, guys.